is Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with another Traveler's Notebook spread for Scrapping Wonders. And so I'm just showing you this is the insert that I'm going to be working in and it's one that I haven't worked in before. And for our hop today we are playing with stickers and cards from Columbus Road Prints which is also an Etsy store and I have linked them in the blog post that goes along with this layout in case you want to check them out. Her stickers are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And so the sticker set that I got matches perfectly, I thought, with the Dear Lizzie documentary collection. And I happen to have some of this collection left, so that's what I'm going to be playing with today. So I've taken this kind of polka dot pattern paper that came in that set, and I'm going to use that to cover the left-hand side of this Traveler's Notebook spread. And then I've taken another pattern paper that came in that same collection, um, that's just a bunch of different pattern circles and I've gone ahead and fussy cut a bunch of those circles out and I'm going to use those over on the right hand side and then I'm going to take my pattern paper that's on the left and punch a couple of circles that are a little bit smaller in size that I can tuck in over there on the right hand side um, so that I'm kind of pulling that pattern paper detail across my layout. So I really love working in these inserts from Best Shop because they are super high quality and the covers are absolutely gorgeous. Um, but this is a really good way to include some smaller stories or some targeted letters to my kids that I don't necessarily want in our family albums, but that I want each one of those kids to have. So each one of my kids has their own Traveler's Notebook insert that is kind of full of these little letters and stories and anecdotes, things about their personality, things that I notice about them, and so that's kind of how I how I handle that at this point. And so I'm looking at those sticker sheets and just deciding where I want some of those to go. And so I'm going to tuck a few in here in my layers, and that was like a an arrow that's in a circle, so it just goes around and around and around. And I apologize, this is a little bit off screen. I do end up moving it up so that you can see a lot better. Okay, so then I went ahead and took this 8-inch doily, and this is from Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I'm going to put half of it um, over on this left-hand side. And so it's going to tone down that pattern paper, but it's also going to give me a really great place where I can do my journaling, because I want to write a letter to my daughter to go on this page with this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those circle elements across onto my left-hand side of the page, and then I'm going to add this little arrow down there at the bottom. And these are also from those um, Columbus Road prints. And I'm also going to add this gorgeous little flower and kind of tuck it in behind some of my circles. And I know I want to use that square phrase. I've been trying to get that on there. Because it says, live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, breathe the wild air. And so it goes perfectly with this photo. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting that on a tag. And I'm going to have that tag kind of running off the edge of the paper. So then I grabbed some pink and white baker's twine, and I'm just going to use that to kind of tie a bow up here at the top of this tag. And I'm also going to run this off the edge of the page, just like I did with the doily. So you're only going to end up having part of it left um, on the page. But it gave that square element kind of a home, which is what it needed so that it didn't get lost on this page. So creating all these kind of layers and textures and things, you know, something that I always try to make sure of is, that each, each little element in its own has a home. So like the camera is hanging out on a couple of those circles. The arrow is kind of bridged with some of those circles. So everything needs its own little home so that it's not just floating off in space. I am going to take my black pen and just kind of really sloppily outline all of these circles. And I'm going back and forth two or three times. I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look very messy. And so that's why I'm kind of doing this quickly, not really paying attention to uh, where those outlines go. And then I am also going to outline this XO. And that's going to basically, that's going to kind of serve as my title. It's not really a title, but it's going to serve as my title on this layout. And like I said, I'm including just a letter to my daughter. And this is just talking about her kind of developing personality. And she has this like reckless abandonment about her that like she goes into every experience just complete joy and totally into it and this picture of her jumping through this waterfall is like a perfect example of that. So then I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch of these stickers from the Dear Lizzie um, documentary sticker sheet 
and I'm going to go ahead and add those throughout my circle clusters as well as um, over on that left hand side. So when I'm working on a traveler's notebook spread, for the most part, anything that I'm doing on the left, I'm also kind of finding a way to mimic on the right. So if I'm adding stars on one side, I'm adding stars somewhere on the other side because I want to create that fluid movement and that kind of balance. Um, I did grab this little kind of banner, and it is gold. It's going to be the only thing on here that's gold, which really doesn't bother me. Um, I did try to work the other half of it into the other side of the layout, and you'll see that here in a second, but it just, it didn't, it didn't work for me. It wasn't happening. There was no good, good place to like tuck it in and, and make it seem natural and flow. So that's going to be the one kind of exception here is that piece is not going to make it onto both sides of the spread. Um, so I'm just checking to see if there's any other um, circles and stickers and things that I want to add. And I decided this little hashtag wish heart um, down there on top of that arrow was a perfect little addition. And then I'm also going to go back and grab um, some enamel dots here. I'm going to try out this ampersand and decide that it doesn't work. Um, but I am going to go back and grab some enamel dots from the new Chamel Glitter Girl collection. And they come with circles, stars, and hearts, and they are all glitter, which is really cute and adds a completely different texture to this layout. So I am going to add those in three different places. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm also going to take this little tab that was on the Dear Lizzie sticker sheet that just says Dream, and I'm going to put it on a piece of white cardstock, and then I'm going to tuck it in the layers of my photo, and it is going to stick out the edge of my book. And I do really enjoy having things that kind of stick out past the boundaries of the edges of the book when I'm working in these Traveler's Notebooks. And so that doesn't bother me at all. I actually really like having things that kind of uh, peek out when you have the, uh, the insert closed. And so there's those Glitter Girl um, kind of glittery enamel dots that I was talking about. And I am going to just grab a few stars of those. Um, I do hope that you will stop by and check out Beth's shop and all of the amazing, beautiful inserts that she has. I am really enjoying playing with these different travels notebooks and working in this different size, which has been really fun and challenging for me. So um, definitely check them out and make sure you do also check out Columbus Road Prints, which are, is the company that supplied us with these really beautiful stickers to play with for this blog hop. And also make sure that you are playing along and visiting each one of the girls on the design team and figuring out which one of the three things that you are learning about them that you think is a lie. Leave those comments on each individual blog so that you can be entered to win an exclusive Traveler's Notebook insert that you cannot buy in the store. The only way you can get it is to win the prize with us. So do make sure you're getting those entries in. And we will see you again soon. Bye!